day 445 22 for 22 good morning hope this finds you well please stay in your fight don't quit today is red friday please remember our service members that are deployed uh, we have had news this past week and previous couple weeks that serving this country is not a safe endeavor all the time we've lost uh, at least one soldier in afghanistan and we lost one sailor on the george hw bush aircraft carrier uh, in this past week or the past two weeks um just you, if you pray throw a prayer if you don't pray do what you do but uh keep uh keep our people that are out there around the world uh serving our country keep them in your keep them in your thoughts all right so i got a barbara and i got a mary how are we doing this morning ladies Mary's doing spectacular. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, what we're going to talk about today is just sticking with it. All right. We can find ourselves deep in a hole and trying to figure out how to get out. Or we can do the other, other step, and that's just sit there and accept defeat. Now, being warriors that we are, we're not going to sit there and do that, are we? We are going to fight back. <clears throat> We are going to plan our way out of this hole and we are going to make sure that we are here for our families and we are here for ourselves. We have a life to live. Somebody's not happy. Um, but there is, you can sit in that hole, but you're going to use that hole to plan to get out of there. You're not going to sit there and dig in and make it home. You are... You're not going to make that hole a home. I want to clarify that. That is a temporary setback, even if you have permanent issues that will that will affect you always. You will find a way to dig out of that hole. You will make a staircase out of that hole. You will find a way to build a ladder from the roots that you find in that hole. But you will find a way to not stay there. That is not the good place to be. You also don't want to be on that cliff we always talk about either. Mm -hmm. um, and you stand up mm -hmm. and you turn around and look mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you pick that point on the horizon mm -hmm. that you, to where you want to go. Mm -hmm. And then you start marching smartly back into your life mm -hmm. and you make it happen. Mm -hmm. So it can be done. It is not an impossibility. It may seem like you're going to be climbing a mountain, and you very well could be, depending on what's happened to you. But the... <laughs> what do you think that was? She's wearing boots. <laughs> what? You, you, you were slogging was? along, kid. It sounded funny. What do you think it was? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, you can find a way back to happy, or at least content. Yeah, he's not um, going to video you anymore. The uh, this journey that I've been on myself for well since 2005 when everything started really going well it was the the open heart surgery was the final uh, final nail in that uh, ever trying to get back in the military coffin uh, that I will ever be truly healthy again. Uh, you know, when you have replacement aftermarket parts on you and they, they, they are sewn into you, it's a little different than putting on <laughs> uh, high performance shocks and struts on your vehicle <laughs> or even replacing an engine. Um, mine is just to keep me alive. It's not improving my performance any other than it's keeping me alive. So, and then losing the family in 2006. You know, it was, that is a devastating, I can't state how devastating losing everything that matters to you is. Um, you know, if you lose one, you can, you can kind of figure out how to handle it. If you, especially if you see the writing on the wall and it's time to go. But if it's out of the blue and smacks you dead in the face and knocks you out, and then you get up and you get knocked out again and then you get up again and then you get knocked out again it can it can send you for a loop and put you in that put you in that hole or put you on that cliff and you know you say to yourself what's the sense of fucking being here 
nothing nothing that mattered to me is is, uh, is there it's it's gone my life is over as I knew it the thing is is you got to realize that you're that life is ever evolving and it's ever changing and what what is gospel today will not necessarily be gospel for you tomorrow um, you have a chance to form your life in the image that you want it and within reason within reason you can form it how you want it you know I, I, I don't think I'm gonna become a millionaire just probably not gonna happen I've probably made a million dollars in my life um, but I'm not gonna be a be where I'm pulling in a million dollars a month and living large I'm gonna live a good life mainly because it's what I make it and choose to do I choose to have a positive attitude I choose to look at the bright side of most things that I can you know I'm not saying I'm always bright and cheery but you know I try to have a positive attitude about everything going on and find a find a solution to a problem as opposed to just taking Barbara quit ta antagonizing her all right well she doesn't want to be played with evidently <clears throat> so life is a lot of what you make it even no matter what you've got going against you life is a lot of what you make it hey, Pablo. and attitude is not necessarily everything but it certainly is a big part of it I'm about to do push-ups so there's there's something to be said for attitude and planning and creating cr working to create the environment that you want to operate within All right. Push -ups. All right, you doing push-ups, Marion? No. Slacker. <laughs> Have a good day, Pablo. Somebody's shoe is underneath the door. Did we kill? A, did we kill a witch? Oh, I see who that is. That's James's. Did we kill a witch? <laughs> no. All right, you doing push-ups or no? She said no. All right, well, I'm making sure she's over there. All right, ready? Let's Queen go. Made, um, a rocket. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. One for the airborne ranger in the sky. She's One for the it. infantry. One for the fallen. All right. Do our shameless self promotion, Barbara. Let's go. Hurry up. <sighs> Subscribe to our channel. Comment below. Give a give us a big thumbs up. Give us a like. Um, Hold the phone up a little bit. Give a huge thumbs up. There you go. All right, that's good. You're killing me, kid. Come on. Subscribe to his channel. Comment below. Give him a big thumbs up. I really want to get us to one million subscribers. So, subscribe. Hit that like button. Give a huge thumbs up. It's that huge. It's three times you've done that. That's <laughs> enough. Let's go. We have a YouTube channel that is that underscore push up underscore guy space tough. We have an Instagram. We have two Instagram pages, which is hashtag that oily guy or hashtag that push up guy. Back to what he was saying. Ay, ay, ay. I have created a promotional monster. All right. Ah. <laughs> All right. So stay in your fight. Yeah, Don't quit. Yep. If you need help, seek help. Get it from friends, family, professionals. But please, whatever you do, do not seek or do not use suicide as a permanent solution to a temporary or permanent problem. You got this. We'll see you here Monday. One, two, three. Mary, you doing it? Saturday and Sunday also. Maybe. Maybe.
for me. Mary, he are you does. Gonna say goodbye? He does Monday right. through Friday. I do Saturday and Sunday. Maybe you got to plan it. Maybe. All right, one, two, three. Tough, Tough out. out.